How was it? Can, can we film it? I have never felt so just in the arms of Jesus and like so loved by the Father and at the same time so... It was powerful yesterday, wasn't it? Oh my goodness. Is yes. it not powerful today also? Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Oh yes. Because yes. the Holy Spirit do something in your life. That is the encrypting, the power to live. Can we look here, look what have happened the last days have been amazing, haven't it? Yeah, it's just been incredible. <laughs> man, oh man. You have been in church how long time? My whole life. Whole life. My whole life. Yeah. But you can be in church without really having the new life, without having the spirit. Yes. It don't mean that you don't love Jesus and have faith. You love Jesus and have a faith. Absolutely. Yes. But yes. it's not the same. You can love Jesus and have a faith without understanding freedom in Christ, yes. without understanding the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And this is a video for you out there who love Jesus and have a faith, but there's more than this. Absolutely. There's more. So what happened yesterday? That was Friday, the first evening. Yeah. Yesterday, I went from living a life of living next to the Holy Spirit to having the Holy Spirit live in me. Mm. And the Holy Spirit really came and filled me. First, he came in and he moved a bunch of stuff out. And then he rushed in and he filled that space. And that, I started speaking mm. in tongues and I was crying out like, Abba. Like, it just <laughs> felt like I was saying Abba. And also, it was just like we were singing a victorious song against the enemy. Yeah. Like, yeah. And this is what it is. He said to his disciples, the spirit has been with you, but he shall be in you. Mm -hmm. They could not have the spirit in them before, after Pentecost, before Jesus went to heaven and sent his Holy Spirit down here. Mm -hmm. And what we see in Acts 8, where people repented came to faith, that is a work by the Spirit, but they did not receive the Spirit in them or got baptized with the Spirit before the Apostle came and laid hands on them. Mm. And yesterday, mm. you got the Holy Spirit. We have a little video clip on it here. You can see it from heaven yesterday. <laughs> let go, let go. Come out right now. Leave him, leave him. Every light go, every light go, every light go. Come out right now. Leave him right now in the name of Jesus. Be freedom, freedom right now. Freedom right now. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let go. Let go. Every hurt go, every lie go, every lie go. I command this lie, leave him right now in the name of Jesus. Be freedom, freedom right now in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out right now. Leave him, leave him right now. Leave him, young Jesus. Come out right now. Let go. I have never felt so just in the arms of Jesus and like so loved by the Father and at the same time so like I was just laughing at the enemy. <laughs> like that's what it felt like because you were when you when you said all pain leave and it's like I just felt all this hurt start to leave my body and I just I came to this place where it just felt like I was kind of empty and then I was being filled more and more. And more. I, all these thoughts that I've had that, that have just said now, like, it's not like that, it's not like that. All of a sudden I just felt myself like erupting like a volcano. <laughs> I'm just speaking and it just it just felt like I was a baby, like a baby with a baby with Jesus. And it's just wonderful. Like I, I feel he, he, filled with all his spirit. He described is really good. I want to say something to you now look into everyone out there. This is the Holy Spirit came. Mm -hmm. The Spirit is crying out, Abba, Father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel it? Mm -hmm. Jesus mm -hmm. did it. Remember, you have the Holy Spirit now. Now you need to use it, speaking yes. tongues. Yes. As most of God's presence are on you now, you feel it. God will always be there. When the Holy Spirit came into me like 13, 26 years ago, I often think back at that moment even today. There have been times and seasons I haven't felt him, but they don't need to do that he's not there. So remember this moment, 
as real as God is now, as real you've always been in your life. God bless you. Oh, how is it? <laughs> that was yesterday, and today you're out on the street to yes. get kick started. Yes. Yeah, yes. how yes. was that? That was great. I mean, I was able to understand the way that I think Jesus and the disciples approach people, and like now I I kind of understand it more. Like before, it just I, I couldn't even comprehend it, and it just felt awkward and. I just wanted to get in arguments and today it was just like okay like I just want to love people and I want to just come and find people who are open to the Lord and to just pray for them and it's just like so simple and that was what when you started to speak I was like I know the different <laughs> love yeah yes, yes that is a big difference the yes, love of yes. the Holy Spirit that came into him yesterday it's just a different approach and people feel that love when mm. we really care about love is not going and say everything is ping 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 love yeah. is telling the truth mm. but you tell the truth out of a heart of love and mm. you approach people because you actually care for people mm. and god is moving you pray for somebody where god starts working her body yeah. and it was beautiful and yeah. you also got baptized yes, yes. yes. and and yes. how was that that was another woe that was uh, it was also incredible it was definitely another woe it felt <laughs> it felt different though it was, it was a different aspect of um of of salvation because when i went under and i came up i started to cough out all of this stuff like i didn't realize i was carrying all this stuff and i i had understood that what i had done was wrong and i had understood from reading scripture that the lord forgives sinners and I understood God's posture towards people who are sinners and who Jesus is and all that in my head. But then when I went under and I came up and I coughed all that out, it was like just a different understanding of forgiveness, a different lightness. I just felt completely free from my sins. And what I say, you can see the Baptists also have that. And what we are saying is you have to understand repentance is like a new uh, where things start. Mm. Baptism in water had to do with the past. Baptism don't help us in the future like in that way. It bury that past. Mm. And that is of course important to live in the future, but the Holy Spirit had to do with the future. Yesterday, he got the power of the Holy Spirit for the future to live as a disciple, to walk <laughs> by the Spirit. Mm. He could have done that for some time without being baptized, but then he would still feel heavy because he would carry that old body around. Mm. But now he got rid of that old body also. Yeah. So what is left now? <laughs> now it's just the Holy Spirit. <laughs> it's now it's just Spirit. Jesus. <laughs> Look at the video from the baptism this day. Rise of Christ. Freedom? 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 Freedom right now. Freedom right now. Freedom? Now freedom. When he got go. set free, go. yes, and he go. got the Holy Spirit go. yesterday. Go right now. But there is free to say, go, 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 go. So last thing go. Last thing go. Last thing go. Last thing go. So take the time to pray go. for people. Go. Do your wrong. Go. Take the time to see Every spirit go. Every spirit go. Every spirit go. Go. Go right now. Go right now. Go right now, freedom. I feel like now. this. Then sometimes freedom now. we need freedom a healing. Then sometimes we need a deliverance. But there's something that the baptism can do. For example, if you are bound to sin, it could be your unclean spirit. You need a deliverance. But when you are in this baptism, you need to bury that old life. That is why you are not free. It's a new life. It's a new life. The old is buried. The old is buried. All that hurt. All that pain, all that hurt is underwater. It's no more. It's yeah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, lead him. Lead him, Lord. Lead him. Lead him, Lord. Allow him to listen to the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. How was that? Wow, come on. <laughs> And he said, you know, yesterday he got the Holy Spirit and people ask, why do you then get baptized now? Because, because it's how it is sometimes where people receive the Holy Spirit first. But it don't mean they don't need the baptism. It was powerful yesterday, wasn't it? Oh my goodness. Is yes. it not powerful today also? Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Because yes. the Holy Spirit do something in your life. That is the encrypting the power to live that new life. But something was broken now in this yeah. world. What was that? That was the past. Yeah. The Holy Spirit <laughs> have to do with the future, the empowerment to live in the future. The baptism have to do with, with the past, with breaking that past so you don't need to carry that around. How did it feel? 
<laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I'm a new man. <laughs> you are. Yeah. So, so you I have the empowerment to live the new life. You have the spirit inside you that's crying out, Abba, Father. Yes, it yes, happened yesterday. Yes, yes, and yes. you have now buried that old life. Yes, yes, so now yes. there is nothing in Hindra to follow Christ as a disciple. Not at all. I'm on fire. I feel alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is how it should be. So for all of you out there, Repent, get baptized, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, Acts 2, 38. That was the gospel. That was the response to the gospel. That is the cross. People say, why don't you preach the cross? I do all the time. This is the cross. Jesus died. We died to sin. Jesus got buried. We need to get buried in the water. Jesus rose up in, again in the power of the Holy Spirit. We need to rise up to a new life in the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah! Woo! So that was the baptism, that was everything. What we say to those millions of people out there who in many ways love Jesus, they have a faith, they read the Bible, but it's where you were a few days ago. Mm. Yeah, I mean, do yourself a favor and really just like make this commitment to, to, to the Lord, to Jesus, and really put, those, put, your, put your old self to death definitively in an instant committing your life if you're ready to do that with the Lord and actually submit to our need for one another in terms of salvation like I thought I could do it on my own and then the Lord led me to this place where he realized I couldn't and so then I asked someone to lay hands on me to fill me with the Holy Spirit and it was completely different like I would just encourage you to if you think that there's maybe a chance that there's more to life with <laughs> God I promise you there is there's more because if you have a thought that there's more there's more now I know okay there's more but I know I have it and so yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and again is faith comes by hearing by the Word of God study the word yourself because the truth is sadly there's many people who have been told you already have the holy spirit there's many people who have been told oh baptism is just a symbol there's many people who have been told there's nothing more mm. but they feel they don't feel free that they, they feel struggling they feel like carrying around that and they, all life and they feel not empowered to live as a true disciple in power of the holy spirit and, and don't listen to those lights. Read the Bible yourself. Take not my words and his words. Take yes. the word of God. Yes. Read the word of God and what you will see. You will see this. You will see that we need repentance. We need the baptism. We need the Holy Spirit. This is the cross we are preaching. It's all about the cross. We are not ashamed of the cross of Jesus Christ. Jesus no. died on the cross. We now need to die to ourselves, to our sins. That is called repentance. Jesus got buried in water. We now need to bury that old... Uh, Jesus got buried in the sand. Mm -hmm. We now need to be buried in water, putting off that old life. And Jesus rose up in the power of the Holy Spirit. And we need the Holy Spirit to raise up that dead body yes. so we can live yes. in Romans yes. 6, a new life. Hallelujah. God bless you all out. This you. is for you. I encourage you to see our movies, see the videos. Connect with local believers near you, people who are living this life. Go to tlrmap.com if it is. Find a green marker near you. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. See the videos. Get the teaching in board. And then experience freedom. And now we hear demons being cast out behind Woo! us. Why? Because this is the normal Let's go, Jesus. It's been a powerful yeah! afternoon, haven't it? <laughs> oh, it's been a God bless my friend. God bless you. So I just want to say a few words about this kickstart. Um, I uh, grew up in the church and I, I really just had an understanding of uh, that if I put my faith in Jesus uh, and I, I have him in my heart that um, I'm free from sin and that I have the Holy Spirit just automatically. And uh, I didn't have a genuine faith until I was older um, and I, I went astray. Um, and really got involved in a lot of sin. I was getting drunk and high all the time and I was having sex and watching pornography. And um, in 2017, I just had had enough. And so I gave my life to the Lord and I started to seek Him and repent. And uh, soon enough, I actually experienced freedom from those, those things, those sins that I mentioned. Um, and I just thought, I, this is it. This is the Christian life. You know, I have freedom from sin and and uh, this is just the kind of life that I, I, um, that I expect all Christians live. I just was seeking, you know, just uh, doing my best to be a good person. And, and, and that's about it. Uh, but the more that I deepen my faith and 
read the word, the more I realized that the life of a disciple of Jesus is much different. And uh, I also realized that my life didn't match up with that and that sin went much deeper than what I thought and that I actually could see the effects of sin in my relationships especially, um, that I just couldn't love people the way that I knew that I was supposed to love people. Um, not to mention that I wasn't living my life in uh, the signs and wonders that you read about in Acts. I wasn't able to heal. I didn't know anything about healing, laying my hands on people, um, and uh, casting out demons. Um, and so uh, I also just felt like you know, there's, there's just something missing. Like, it felt like I didn't have the Holy Spirit, maybe. And I was just wondering. And uh, so the Lord led me to be baptized and be filled with the Holy Spirit. He convicted me about those things as I read the Word more. And I came across the last Reformation. And so I just went to the kickstart. And glory to God, He's, he's so good. And um, the freedom that I experience, it's just so wonderful to know, like, that it, it just goes so much deeper than I thought and that it's so much more real than I thought. And uh, it's just so so great to know that God is God is this close and that he, his kingdom really has drawn near and that we really do have the possibility to be free from sin, from the power of sin, um, and that uh, we get to have him living in us. We are his temple. And um, to just know that that's something that he's done in me is just so wonderful. And I know that he's faithful to bring his work to completion. So I know that I'm going to begin to see signs and wonders. And um, that uh, as I'm obedient to Jesus more and more, that I will just see him more and more and a lot less of me.